This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you're trying to build a strong brand image, then I would 100% recommend using Squarespace. I've always dreamed of walking into a skate shop and just splurging, going on a shopping spree, but I've yet today to still do that. But unfortunately, I'm sponsored by Revive Skateboards and Blue Towel Skate Shop, so now I pretty much get free things whenever I want. Life is very difficult. Let's see if the security guard stops me. He's like, yeah, I heard you being an arrogant flexor and I just wanted to tell you not to do that anymore. So I figured on this especially sunny and painfully hot day, why don't we finally do it? Why don't we get $1,000 and spend it at skate shops? That's the whole thing. I always, I, I build up like I'm gonna say something else and then I don't and then I feel like, I'm, sorry, security guard. I'm just gonna keep going this direction. Here comes the security guard again. Let me see if I can film this before the security guard gets here. So I say we take this in three steps. We go to the shredquarters.com, we support the homies, we go to Blue Towel, support the homies. And then I go to a local skate shop here in Dallas, Texas that everyone's been telling me about. Hello. I'm good, how are you? I'm filming myself, I'm making a video about Arlington. No talking about Arlington or no filming? Oh, can't film, oh, okay, okay, gotcha, okay, cool. All right, I'll talk to Ron, thank you. I just guessed Ron, she said she needs to talk to management and I just thought how funny would that be if I got the name right of whoever the management is. Anyways. What's up, bang bang, ski ski dude. So I figured since we're not allowed to film outside the mall, maybe I could film inside and check out a Zoomies. If we're on the conversation of skate shops, we obviously gotta talk about the most popular one in the world. You guys know what time it is, dude? You don't, because you don't have a G-Shock watch, dude. Now, obviously, this video is about supporting the homies. That's why I'm not shopping at Zoomies instead. But I did go in the other day, and I noticed that it has such a complete different atmosphere than any other skate shop I've ever been into. I'm gonna go in right now just to kind of like nurture what that was, that feeling. So as strange as it sounds, I know what it is. I just walked out. Uh, it's because it doesn't feel like a skate shop at all. It feels more of like a hype culture store, like a hot topic with like a flair of what a skate shop would be because of, you know, the, the skateboards, but the music feels much different. Like I feel like most skate shops are more like California, punk, maybe slightly hipsterish. Uh, and that shop feels more of like popular youth culture kind of encapsulated into a, uh, a store. But there is an item as well that I need to make sure that I get, and that is uh, the Kyle Walker 2s. But they were probably the best skate shoes I've had in a very long time, and I haven't had a pair since. So that's the first thing we're gonna look up, Kyle Walker Pro 2. I noticed that the Vans website actually doesn't have this, so I gotta find it from, uh, what, no. Okay, so I'm seeing Tactics Board Shop, which is actually a skate shop. And that's really cool that they have, uh, Let's see, the floral ones were amazing. I felt like they went well with every outfit too, so uh, I'm gonna size 10 of this. I, I love these, okay, and let me get these as well. I feel like maybe I should get like three pairs. I feel like these pink ones, oh, this is like exactly my stees, I feel like, so add that to cart. Please select a size, don't tell me what to do before I punch you in the face. So this will be $223.85, which is a, uh, that's a lot. That's pretty much a fourth of my budget just on Kyle Walker 2s. Yay, so it should be arriving in four to seven business days. With the shredquarters.com, uh, this one is a, well, that's me. I'm literally on the main page. How did I not have any idea that I would be on there? That is amazing. <laughs> so I actually heard that they had this complete skateboard that I was uh, right here on the bottom right. So I am going to buy it. But I know the second I buy it, they're gonna be like, why didn't you just hit us up for free? We would've just given it to you. You gotta support the people who support you. I want the hottest person in the warehouse to deliver this to me. Continue. All right, it's ordered. Okay, so we got this uh, 13761. All right, let's add that to the freaking stack. Last but not least, bluetilesc.com. I always wanna just go to footwear. I feel like that's like, skate shoes just go so fast. Um, whoa, look at this one. I'm definitely gonna get some last resort skate shoes because I've been wanting to get these for a long time. We made a video about them on my second channel and uh, yeah, they just look cool. I felt like everybody was having a good time with them. So let's get some last resort skate shoes. Big boy polar jeans, they're $140 though. I actually don't know if I can rationalize that. Babe, can I rationalize that? Um, what do they look like? They're just jeans and they're baggy. I like the pants you wear. I do too. I have a lot of pants. I really don't need pants. They're just that. They're just that. $140? <laughs> yeah. I can't do it. I, like how cool your pants are. I have like 50 pairs of pants. So I'm like, all right, so I'm going to get a blue tile hat. All right, I'm going to get a dad hat. One of these, add to cart. Let's, how come my GoPro only films for like 
five minutes at a time. I'm gonna get some blue tile shorts. Uh, should I get a medium or a large? Medium probably, yeah. All right, blue tile shorts, medium. It's hard to think and talk at the same time. Does this shirt actually say Rutledge? That's like the OG skate spot from when I was a kid and I am definitely gonna get this shirt. Oh, what? That's insane. Oh, this shirt's cute. Definitely have enough shirts. Um, but you know what, one more. I mean, there's so many cool looking shoes. Like I love these S shoes and I haven't skated a pair of S shoes in a very long time. So let's see if they have moist eyes. Aha, they do. Okay, so I'm gonna get an S pair of shoes. All right, let's see if we can get one more pair of shoes. Just anything, I feel like these look really, really cool. But I feel like for slip-ons, I always have to get the size above. So if they have 10 and a half, I'm getting them. I'm getting them. 360. Four dollars, Jesus Christ. Whew, all right. <laughs> this is like hard for me to pull the trigger. That's a lot of money. All right, let's do it. Proceed to check out. Get there while you can. Forgot to intro this skate shop, but this is Q Skate Shop. Actually, a couple of friends of mine from the Texas area recommended this one to me, and luckily it was pretty close by, and it was gorgeous. <laughs> And now a word from our sponsor, Squarespace. Hello there. You're probably wondering why I talk about Squarespace so much. It's probably because they have a product that just can't be beat. <laughs> you can now generate revenue with members only content on your website. So if you have a class or something specific that people can sign up for, you can set it up all on Squarespace. My favorite use of Squarespace is building an online store, but you can use it for any purpose. If you wanna start a blog or you have a gallery that you wanna show off, or you just want it to be the perfect place to be like, this is everything that I can do, a perfect portfolio, Squarespace is good for that. Buying a domain on Squarespace is criminally easy. And if you already have a domain, you can just transfer it on over and it's really easy. Just type in what you want. If it's available, buy it. Shows you the price right there and everything. Easy. If you want to do content creation for a living, I think email campaigns is the most underutilized thing ever because there's no algorithm. You just send out an email and everybody gets it. And I'm going to start one on September 22nd. And whatever kind of page you want to create on your website, like a blog, you can actually set up a comment section, like section, the whole social media nine yards. So if you're sick of being on other platforms, you can literally build your own. And last but not least, you can set up appointment scheduling. So if anybody's like, what are you up to, dude? You want to hang out? You can send them your schedule and say, dude, I'm a boss man now. I don't have time for your silly antics. You can send it on over and that's, that's that. So you can go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to sign up, you can actually type in squarespace.com slash John Hill or go to the link in the description down below to get 10% off your first purchase or domain. Now, enjoy the rest of the video. So Q Skate Shop actually gave me a discount so that my total would equal exactly a thousand. It's like a little bit of change more. So I think we spent like, hey, shut up. It'd be a very sweaty unboxing. Since we got one item from the Shred Quarters, let's go through that first. This is the Cruiser Board and I could not be more just. Yo! My favorite parts of Revive packages are the letters. Uh, Casey is not the hottest person in the warehouse. I am Ryan Chambers. Ryan, thank you. I miss everyone there. This is very, very pretty. Wow, the wheels are so white. They're basically fluorescent. But this is the new Revive Cruiser board. This is gorgeous. And it has silver trucks, which I didn't know beforehand. The wheels are force wheels, obviously. And I don't know what kind of bearings, but I'm sure that this thing would be perfectly adequate. So this one is Tactics Board Shop. This is a lot of the Kyle Walker 2s. I remember ordering like literally I think three pairs. You know, it's been a couple days for me so I actually kind of forgot what I bought. So this is sort of like a an all new Christmas. So we have one, two, three and that is all of it. Three pairs of Kyle Walker 2s. Probably my favorite skate shoe. Maybe Vans should have hit me up if they wanted that hella promotion because I stand behind these so hard. Obviously I bought three pairs, but what's weird is that Q Skate Shop told me that they actually didn't sell well for them because I bought a fourth pair of Kyle Walker 2s because it was in their sales discount department. And I was like, that sucks that this shoe didn't do well. And I think it has a lot to do with the strap, but I not only love the way they look, but I just, I like the, uh, I like the colors and how they feel and they feel perfect, so. Starting to stack up here. So what's next? Blue Tile Skate Shop. 
Aha, okay. Since we've been on the theme of Vans, we might as well open up those first. Um, oh yeah, I bought these slip-on versions. I don't think I've ever skated like a, uh, whatever this is called, vulcanized uh, slip-on shoe, but it looks like really sick. Rutledge Tennis. Now, I, I know a lot of people won't understand this reference, and it's really, really niche, and I'm really surprised that Blue Tile is actually moving forward with such a niche idea, but Rutledge is a really popular skate spot that we have in Columbia, South Carolina. It's basically like our LA courthouse, and we had it in the city forever. I grew up skating it. It's amazing, but they're making spoof slash parody items based on the name Rutledge. So this says Rutledge Tennis, and that's not even a real thing. They literally just made that. Just, they're just making things things up so that's going to be like a consistent series and it's basically just like for the community because obviously if you're not from Columbia then why would you care and then they included this blue towel shirt that uh that I was eyeing for a while um but I bought these shoes and I'm realizing that I think I bought these same shoes from Q Skate Shop It's the same shoe. I bought two pairs of the, the same shoe. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. What's in the box? Let's find out what's in the box together, my friends. A hat, this very cute hat. Uh, I've been needing hats. Actually, I can't stand my hair right now. Oh, it feels good. It actually fits kind of deep. That's always the problem. And then I got these shorts because, you know, Winter is not here, uh, it's summer. So I have shorts and they're white and those will probably get very disgusting and I'll look gross wearing them. But you know what, we did it. Oh, and then the last thing from Blue Tile, last resort shoes. We actually made this whole video about these shoes and it did super well. We did a whole wear test at our Progress Daily Skate Park and everyone ripped. But that actual video, like the video that I put out, influenced me to buy the shoes. So I accidentally influenced myself uh, through my own channel. But these are just like the most kind of like a basic profile type skate shoe, but somehow they have a basic look without making it look very like Walmart-y. Like it looks like a proper skate shoe and a lot of their skate shoes, I'm pretty sure this one is like vegan all around. So there's no part of it that's like an animal product. Last but not least, since we already revealed one of the pairs of shoes we got at the skate shop, here are the other two pairs of shoes I got. And then the board I want to reveal and talk about because it is a very, very special thing that I found in that skate shop. So the first pair of shoes, of course, let's go with the Vans again. Oh my gosh, how, how why do I put so much money into Vans? And guess what? It's literally the Kyle Walker 2 again, except red, AKA burgundy, AKA whatever. But these shoes are gonna last me like months and months and months. So you're gonna see these four colorways consistently for the next couple of months in my uh, in my videos. And I, you know what, I think that's perfectly okay. And then some Americas and these uh, I love. I actually, I needed a shoe that just like really stuck out and was weird. Uh, so this like purple complexion, which I already like a lot. And then the black soles. Okay, let's go to the skateboard. The slide buildup. When I first started my YouTube channel, like in the first couple of videos, I mentioned that I was building this baby onesie company. And it's actually how I made a living before I started YouTube. It's actually how I had a stream of income so that I could take the time to make YouTube videos. And I had one employee and that employee today actually still runs the business. Long story short, uh, that guy was Josh Love. I feel like a large part of my audience didn't know that Josh Love was actually like a phenomenal skateboarder that I used to skate contests with and then I ended up like working with because we were skate friends. So he ended up running the company all on his own in Portland and he's just this like ridiculous skateboarder and he always has been. I've known of him forever. I've been a fan of him forever and it's really cool that we got to work together. Is there something on my lip that whole time? I swear to God. But what people might not know is Josh Love is so good that he recently went pro for a very popular brand out of Portland called Killing Floor or The Killing Floor. I've always respected this brand and he just went pro for that brand. And this, my friends, is his pro model board. And of course, it was at the skate shop in Texas because this is where he is originally from. So Josh is a pro and I finally have his board 
And it's just come full circle because that was like five years ago when he was working for me. And I love to see that even then he's just grinding away. He's still posting skate clips on Instagram that are insane. He had a new part come out. He's just been killing it and he's pro now. And this is very, very, very special to someone like me. Um, and I couldn't be more proud of someone like him, especially just like all that work, all that effort and just like grinding and moving in California. We did the California thing together and then him to end up being uh, yeah, I don't know, it's great. So I'm really happy that I have this, and this is part, this will be forever be a part of my collection of boards. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, skateboarding haul. I was gonna go out and test some of this product at the end of the video, um, but truth be told, you'll see this gear for a while now. Um, I do wanna say again, a reminder that July 22nd, we do have our own release coming out. Progress Daily is putting out a lot of miscellaneous products, but also we're restocking on grip tape. We're putting out our flat rails again, and we have uh, just a bunch of cool new products and new shirts, new long sleeves. Um, it's, it's like a full on line and it's our pre-fall collection. That's what we're calling it. I don't know why, because our fall collection is basically the start of like a lot of other things. Um, but yeah, July 22nd, if you do wanna get products from me, <laughs> uh, like from our own skate shop, uh, then yeah, just, you know, wait till then, I guess. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time. Uh, I really appreciate your existence and this video just felt very cool and uh, I don't know, made me happy. <laughs> I'll see you next time, every week for a new video. Take care, progress daily and keep killing it.